is National Asian and Pacific Islands HIV and AIDS Awareness Day and Gala West Care, the Guahan Project and Public Health have a bunch of events to commemorate and educate the community. Now joining me right now are Gala Project Manager Wilhelmina Duenas and from Guahan Project, the lovely Kelly Jensen. Thank you so much for joining us, both of you. Thank you for having us. Okay, so uh, what are you trying to do this year with the community? Because, you know, I mean, you know, there's so much on Guam and so many educational op opportunities about HIV and AIDS. Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, we're actually, um, because it does fall on the 19th this year, and it is a Sunday, and here on Island, uh, family is a big thing. We're trying to uh, do events throughout the week to promote the 19th. Um, we have a few events lined up for throughout the week with Gala and with Guahan and West Care. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give out the dates, if that's sure, okay. Sure, absolutely. Um, Wednesday, everything's going to begin on Wednesday, and from 2 to 5 p.m., Gala will have an open house where our office will be open to the public. They can come and see what we do. And later on that same evening, from 7 to 9, we will be showing the um, Banyan Tree Project short films called Taking Roots. And what they are is they're a compilation of personal stories with people who are affected by HIV or people who know people who are affected mm -hmm. by HIV AIDS. Uh, just this past November, they actually did it here on the island. So there are some local films um, that were made last November. They're actually really, really interesting short films, very heartfelt and tear jerkers definitely mm -hmm. okay <laughs> so, now yeah. uh, kelly tell us about the guahan project and how are you guys getting involved um first i want to say the partnerships that we've developed um for api day has has grown over the years and i can only um thank and appreciate uh the the other partners that support us gala um, kuam has always been supportive of us and each year that we get together more people get educated more people are able to prevent uh, the disease from spreading AIDS and HIV and as well as STDs um, and makes our, our island less vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So these partnerships are extremely powerful and extremely important to spreading the message of getting to zero. So, and Guaham Project for the last decade has been able to provide uh, free HIV and STD testing. So to commemorate these events, um, starting our open house will be next Thursday. So from Thursday through the end of the month, um, we will be providing a, an extra incentive. People will get the first 50 people to come in to be tested. Uh, we'll give them free gas cards oh, that's for coming in to get okay. tested. Um, it, it's free. It takes 20 minutes to get your results. Mm -hmm. So it's, you, there's no waiting. You don't have to bite your nails. It's come in, get tested. We'll do some counseling with and you. And medical technology on, on that standpoint has come a long way because you know like remember yes, before like in the 80s and 90s they said you take a test and then it was two weeks of you know compl as you said you know completely right. being on eggshells and you know just wondering what if yeah actually it, uh, on yeah. island about a year ago was still the two weeks um so we moved into a new form of rapid uh testing called rapid testing mm -hmm. like she said it takes about 20 minutes to get your results so okay. if you ever if you've ever gotten an hiv test uh, those two weeks can be the longest weeks of your life so now exactly. it's just the longest 20 minutes of your life but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's come a long way, and we're excited to be moving into this form of testing. How about both of your organizations? How large have they grown in, in, you know, like maybe in recent history, like in the past couple of years? And how have you seen more of a community effort towards this cause? The, the testing numbers, since we've been able to provide rapid testing, um, our numbers have doubled. The, the amount of people coming in for testing, and I, and I think there's a fear factor, so that's been removed. Um, GALA, we, along with Public Health, we've partnered together to get people certified and qualified to be able to provide the risk reduction counseling and to be able to go ahead and administer the tests. So it's, it's been a great partnership of government and nonprofit, and it, it's such a wonderful thing for the island, and we want to make sure we continue to hit that getting to zero. Mm -hmm. We've, we got this. <laughs> All right, excellent. Yeah. Well, can I get the phone number for each of your organizations before we go to commercial break? Okay, we can contact Gala at 969-5483 for more information about our events coming up. Mm -hmm. And you can reach us at Westcare at 472-0218 and also check out our Facebook page at Westcare Pacific Islands. Yes. All right, thank you so very much and please keep up the very fine work that both of you do. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. All right, <laughs> stay tuned because we will be right back right after this.